Hello, this is Craig, and I thought I would talk about seeding as a gameplay mechanic. And I've come up with a couple of different ideas, but I'll just cover the high points. Uh, in Disc IF 3, a tactical RPG, you're going to school. And all of the various people in your party are also students. And because of that, you have a classroom that you go to, and you can seat people at the various desks in the classroom. Now, the reason this matters is uh, is twofold. One uh, one thing it matters about is that um, people who are in the front row get a bonus to intelligence and so on and so forth. But more importantly, who you're next to determines who your friends in combat are. So these two people are next to each other, so they'll get ver along very well in combat. They'll get various boosts when they stand near each other. These two people are too far apart, and therefore aren't linked. But here, these people are linked again. Disgaea 4 takes it one step further, and the grid is not just for students, or just for your characters, it's also for items, um, buildings. So you're in the Senate in this game, so here this might be the participate in the Senate um, building, and it would affect three tiles. Characters in these tiles would be senators, and they would be go going to the Senate and voting on your behalf. Also, they're next to each other, so they would be friends. They would know each other and have bonuses in combat. Over here you might have another building, uh, say the Mountaineering Club, and it might affect these four tiles. So everyone in these tiles is a mountaineer, but they're too far apart to actually be friendly with each other. They can be friendly here. You don't have to be in the same club to be friendly with each other. Now in Disguise 4 you can actually overlap, um, but we're not going to talk about that because it's against the game design I came up with. The game design I decided on after coming up with a bunch of different types and throwing them away is a game design where you play a really crappy god. And I don't mean like a monotheistic um, capital G god. I'm talking more about like an eastern spirit, a local god that has very little authority, um, but a little bit of sway over the local town or something. Um, so your powers are actively bad. They're things like poverty, disease, bad luck. But you're not a bad god. You're just a, a, you're just a crappy god. You're one that doesn't doesn't actually accomplish very much. So the point of the game isn't to become the best god around. It's to become less crappy, uh, and that depends on what your power is. So, for example, if you're a poverty god, you'll always be struggling to make enough money to make the payments on your on your little temple. Uh, if you're a disease god, you'll always be struggling to keep people healthy and. Uh, um, not accidentally cause uh, a sickness, a flu or something, um, in the area around your your temple. And bad luck is a you know the same sort of thing. You've got to continuously struggle to fight against your power. And you'll have a temple, which uh, it might vary in size or shape depending on how well you do or your type of god. But that's not a core part of the gameplay. A core part of the gameplay is placing items within the temple, operational items. For example, you might put uh, the offertory here. And that's where people would come by. And you don't really have worshippers, you just got random people who stop by the temple and toss in a couple of bucks for um, a fortune and for good luck. You're more like a, a lucky um, fountain than you are like uh, an authoritative god. But the offertory might have these three tiles associated with it. So people you put in these tiles, uh, people you have you that work for you or are your friend, they will help with the stuff related to the offertory, um, which might be cleaning the temple or it might be paying, off, maybe you know actually going to the offertory from time to time, or it might be just greeting people who stop by. And over here you might have a desk, which is where you would write up the various fortunes and talismans. And the people who you are, the people who are associated, uh, who associate with that, would be in these tiles. So if you put someone here, they would be friends with these guys. And the reason that matters is because aside from this seating thing, the main, the 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 two kinds of play are one is these. 
So each day these do something, depending on the people who are associated with it. The offertory box would earn you money, and this would give you talismans and stuff. Um, but more than that, uh, every once in a while, maybe every eight hours, a random member of your staff will have some kind of anime-esque sub-adventure. Like, uh, depending on, depending, it completely depends on their character. I mean, if it's a cat, they might run into, or uh, they might run uh, a foul of the local cat king or something. Um, if it's a schoolgirl, they might have to worry about bad grades. Or if it's an old man, they might have to try and save a, save a, a, a some sort of building that's being foreclosed or a park that's having a something built on top of it and all that sort of stuff. And there's a very simple quest inter interface where you know you'd take 45 seconds and you do some kind of simple choice system, maybe a skill game, and resolve the quest. Now, your friends are going to participate in that quest with you. So who you sit next to will depend on who's going to participate in your quests with you. And everyone has different abilities that they might bring to the table. Some might be helpful, some might not be helpful, depending on who you are and what sort of trouble you get into. I mean, if, if you're trying to, to uh, if you're in trouble with trying with a foreclosure and you're trying to prevent a foreclosure, then uh, a cat might not be much help. Others might not be helpful, but they'll raise the reward. So, you know, they might, they might raise the risk, but also raise the reward that you get if you succeed. In this way, you bring some, uh, some social character, uh, some characterization to what is otherwise a game about putting people in seats. The, uh, the characters, I'm thinking pretty anime-esque, so, you know, you might have a cat. Um, that is the worst, worst cat I have ever drawn. You might have a cat. Um, or, as I mentioned, something like a, a schoolgirl that carries around a, a sword. Um, or an old man with a Fu Manchu mustache. Uh, or a fat trucker. That one's not so anime, I guess. Um, you know, there are dozen, or or a slime that just randomly bobbles around. You know, anything, anything you feel like putting into the game. But not all these characters are ones that you build. You can build some of them. Some of them will be imported from your friends, and will have a link back to your friends, which will allow um, whatever you do with them. Some of that success will be copied over to your friends which can be very handy uh, if the character is built specifically to shore up their weaknesses. Um, and who they sit next to matters, so maybe you sit these three next to each other and you have a nice cross-generational, cross-species set of friends, or maybe you group them together like this so that they all participate in the same kinds of quests and can support each other more adequately, although much less interestingly. Um, some of the characters might be limited edition characters that you can only get from the cash shop. Um, and I'm just kind of circling randomly. It's, uh, uh, the core idea here is there are two pieces of the game. One is struggling to make your temple as efficient as possible at doing the things you need it to do, um, which will depend on what kind of terrible power you have. Another is uh, uh, the actual choosing of the characters and where they get stuck in that temple, because they all have adventures, and who they're next to, excuse me, who they're next to will determine the kinds of adventures they can participate in and how well they can participate in them. I think this has some potential as a social game, like the sort of thing you might see on Facebook. And uh, yeah, that's it.